This is the latest finished piece made by Roger Bucknell, a steel string acoustic guitar that's taken three months to build and is worth around three and a half thousand pounds. Its proud owner is based in London, but heard about Roger's skill from a friend. I was just engrossed in this guitar and I said, wow, I really like this guitar. And he said to me, yeah, it actually suits you, the sound. And, and then we began discussing um, the words, uh, the fingerboard width, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And um, he suggested that, he said, I think we really should get one of those, those made for you. And I said, yeah, I, th I think that sounds like a good idea. So that's what you've had done. You've had your guitar made in Cumbria. And what mm -hmm. do you think of it? It's brilliant. The first guitar I made was, I was nine years old. It was a long, long time ago. Um, I had no one to show me, I just made something. I was fascinated by the way such things were made. So I made what I thought was a guitar and moved from there. Roger sources wood and other materials from all over the world. Some of it is thousands of years old. These days the company produces around 130 guitars and mandolins a year, often for rich and famous musicians. Mick Jagger, um, Sting, M People, Pete Townsend, Cliff Richard, um, it goes on and on and on, and more recently to people such as David that you've seen today. And what kind of reaction have you had from these people with their guitars? Well, good. <laughs> um, some people use them all the time professionally as their performance instruments. Other ones keep them at home to play you know, to the family. Other ones use them just for recording. Most of the items made by Roger and his team are made to order. Some are unusual, others unique. Oh yeah, it's different. Um, it's not a guitar. It's a bazooki, or in actual fact it's a double neck bazooki, two necks on a very unusual shaped body and that's done for a reason. And it's a custom order for um, a chap in Ireland, Donald Lunny. It's his specification and there's reasons for doing all of this. There's two bazooki necks with different lengths so in different tunings he can change from one to the other very quickly. So completely unique? Completely unique, yes. Making guitars will always be more than just a job for Roger, though he admits the real pleasure is getting to see a satisfied customer in action. Kim Engels, ITV News, Penrith.